time to look at Joe Piscopo's girlfriend. <laughs> now it's time to look at Joe Piscopo's fiance, Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly Driscoll. A living dream. Put a gag on Joe. I want to see Kimberly. <laughs> Oof. Uh, time has not diminished your beauty. What are you wearing, Kimberly? You don't wear... <laughs> what is that? Wow. Hubba, hubba. Ooh. Oh, don't hug me, Joe. I thought Joe I was going to sit on oh, your lap. Go sit over here. Yeah. If Kimberly wants to hug me, that's fine. <laughs> give, give Howard a big Howard a hug. Howard. Oh, ooh. man, what are you wearing, a cat suit? Jeez. Not you, Joe. Oh, my God. Kimberly, I want to marry you. I'll marry you. Oh, I love you. I miss you so much. We've been up since 5 o'clock. I'll marry you. We've been up since 5 o'clock trying to get into you. tell him? You know what? How is it? How is it? Excuse me. Don't talk all at once. How is it that you... You are you are maybe the most beautiful woman in the oh, world. Oh, you do go on. <laughs> you do. <laughs> how is it you're still with Joe? I can't figure. First of all, for, guys, how is everybody? Robin, we're all fine. Let me tell Joe. you. Let me tell you, Howard. And now people are going to say, "Oh, Joe, you and Howard, you and Howard." Listen, I don't care because I have to say to you as a friend that I've known for 13 years, I understand the magnitude of this show. I understand in the morning. I'm no friend. I'm in, no friend. In the, in the morning, I'm here to look I, at your girlfriend. I understand the, I could the, care less about the you. commercials you that you guys got to get in, and I understand no. the valuable time. If you and lose I her, apologize. you're never on this show. I apologize <laughs> nice. to the bottom of my heart for being for being late like this. We got stuck in the hospital. Stop. You still love Joe? He's not even looking at me, honey. Do you, <laughs> honestly, do you still love Joe? Do you still love Joe? Howard, I'm growling. I want to hear your girlfriend. I don't want to hear you today. You got it, buddy. I love him more than ever. Oh, really? More than ever. Yeah. It keeps growing and growing. Joe, you colored your hair. You did something different. Oh, I do. I it's do, for I, his new character. He's what doing, character? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought bit. you went insane. No. I thought you were doing a, um, uh, what do you call it, a Joey Adams impression. I, I don't, my chest isn't even shaved anymore. Your chest isn't shaved? I got hair and everything. What happened? I don't know. I feel fat. Do I look fat? You look fat on Regis and Kathy Lee. What were you wearing? <laughs> what the hell were you wearing? I thought that you, uh, I think you went to working out. Were you I dressed him. Do you, do, do you dress him in balloon pants and a balloon shirt? I thought you gained like five. Come wow, on. he looked awful. I didn't see this appearance. <laughs> it was a cap, and he hated it. He didn't want to wear it. I'm like, no, Joe. Really no, I know Joe's cool. really takes pride in his body yeah. and works out. And, you know, sure. he, he, he takes more pride in his body than he does in his comedy. I'm <laughs> telling you, the guy's <laughs> obsessed. Look, no, it's this, true. He's this more into bodybuilding at this point. You know what? He orders the hot yeah. mud Sunday and smells it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm looking at Joe. I'm Regis and Kathy. And I go, oh, my God, he, he must be ill. What a chunker. No. I said the man must be ill because he's he's huge. He's obese. Don't say that. And now I'm looking at him. He looks great. No, I made him. Wear that outfit oh. because it was like really nice. What are you trying to sabotage his career? Yeah. What do you want? What do you want him to lose all his gigs? Oh, what are you doing to him, Kimberly? You look, me. first of all, he wore a belt a and a big fluffy place. shirt and a fluffy pair of pants yeah, and yeah. he looked obese. And I said, <laughs> The guy's head looks yeah, normal, no, but no. oh my God, you dressed him? <laughs> the guy's head looked normal. Yeah, I said, But his body, I mean, Mickey Mantle was in better shape. Oh, sounds like a bad oh, Unbelievable. Yeah. Kimberly, what are you doing to the guy? Did you That's see Did you see a tape of your appearance? I oh, Hey, I saw me in the mirror. Did you look me in the monitor? I looked enormous. Oh, my God. You know what? It. You looked like a fat so. You know what? I, I thought it. I did. Kimberly goes, hey, wear, what was that again? Silk or linen or something? It was linen and silk, a silk shirt and linen. What would you pay for those? What would you pay for those? It was like a lot of money. You know, a lot what a of rip off! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's wow. what I mean. So I go down there and I. Did you look at how fat he looked on camera? Let's see. You're being too critical. <laughs> <I think laughs> critical. The guy right. wants to look like he's no. happening. You're making him out to be a big fat so. No. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. I'm I sorry. Did. Regis was kind of looking at me funny. He was looking at my <laughs> yeah. stomach. Going. No. <laughs> Every time I was talking to him, and his, it was eyes looking at my waist, going, "Geez, Joe, it's real fat." Regis, now. by the way, Regis wasn't looking at you. He was looking at the girl in the no, front row. No, no, no. He was. Hey, and also, yeah. And also, I come with a heavy heart because they're the. Did he hit on Kim? They're very in the mix today, so I feel bad. We feel bad about that. Did right? he hit on? Did he hit on your girlfriend? Who? Regis. No, oh, gosh, he's, he's, he's quite the ladies' man, evidently. The Howard. <laughs> <laughs> he's quite let the ladies' man. Me, let me. So first of all, let I, me entertain you. Let me. Let me. Let say, me make you smile. I have to tell you what, what, what we have to do to make up for this tardiness because it's no, inexcusable. It's, right. it's okay. No, no, it's inexcusable. I don't care. Look what your girlfriend is wearing. Look what Kim is wearing. Jackie, how are you? You are so oh, good, man. There's only one way that you can make up to me, and I'm being serious. Uh oh, no. <laughs> you allow me to walk in the oh, other room with Kim. You allow me to work. I got to get him out of here. I'm sorry. You allow me to walk into the room, to a separate private room where there are no cameras with Kim, for two minutes, and I can do whatever I want. And then I will, and then I will allow 
this tardiness <laughs> to be forgiven. <laughs> Tim, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready, Joe? No, first answer me this question. It's like post office. I won't go beyond third base. <laughs> all right? I can't have actual sex with you. You are the king that, of really. all media, Howard. And that, you know what we didn't talk about? I talked to you on the phone a year ago. Tim, what do you say? Can we go in the other room? Howard. What, please? Just two please, minutes. Says, please, please. Two minutes, and I swear I'll make you feel better than Joe ever did. I'll do things oh, oh, to you no, Joe no, never stop, did. No, 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 stop. 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 Because every what? time you say that, people always go, how do you let Howard talk to you? They don't know the relationship. They don't know how you know, we've known each other. But how do you let Howard but talk to you? But how does Kim really Kim know gorgeous. if everything is wonderful with Joe? Oh. Kim, I won't let you... I've never been able to experiment with anyone else. Because I've Have you ever had sex with anyone because else? Because I'm the fat man, that's why. <laughs> God, did you look obese? <laughs> <laughs> Kim must hate you. I'm never going to hear the end of this. Oh, but you look, he no, looked, so he looked the size of an elephant. I look huge. <laughs> it was the vulnerable look. You have never had sex. You met Joe. Like, Let's review for our audience because we have we have a much bigger audience. Of your yeah, which, why, yeah. Joe Piscopo used to be on Saturday Night Live. He was best friends with Eddie Murphy, except oh, Eddie no. didn't know it. This is Howard's history. No, it's well, true. Well, according to Joe, he showed Eddie his first house. He right. did everything yeah. for Eddie. Well, evidently, I never said that at all. And then somewhere oh, along the on, line, you made him is what you. Said. And then somewhere along the line, Eddie <laughs> dumped Joe. <laughs> dumped Joe. <laughs> When's the last time you saw uh, Eddie? I, Be honest. To, uh, a, two years. All right. And, and, and when was the last time Eddie made a movie? That's when he saw him in the movie. <laughs> right. Robin, quiet. Be nice back there. Give me two minutes well, in the room with you. You swear like, you're in heaven. Stop it. But people are, so what? So you're all over. The, you're all, I'm talking to your girlfriend. Are you international? Give me two now? minutes. Give me two minutes alone with you, and you will never. You, know you have never been with. What is the furthest you went with any other guy? Stop it. Stop no, it. be quiet, Joe. Just shut your microphone off. I'm turning your microphone off. I don't want to hear from you. No, Kimberly. What's the furthest? You're a gorgeous woman. Your body is heaven. But the reason that Perfect. I know is because I've seen other girls my age, my friends, and I see like. <sighs> Some of the guys that they go out with, and I know that the trouble that there is to go out with other guys, and I know that no other guy treats me. Look at my hands. Would treat me as wonderful. Feel how soft my hands are, please. Just feel how soft they are. Just Joe, allow her, please. Please. Feel feel how soft my hands are. Feel how soft they are. I don't have a construction worker hands like Joe. Look at that. Just touch him. You can't touch my hand. Yeah, your microphone's off, Joe. No, no. Touch my hand. How soft nice. is that skin? That's very soft. You're going to feel like a butterfly is floating on your skin. Do you know what that feels like for a woman? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Can I tell everybody we went to your house? We went to your What's house the total dinner? amount of words your parents have spoken to Joe? <laughs> are they now speaking to Joe? Wait, let, let, get on the microphone. I can't, both of your microphones are on. What? Well, they're both on. Are your parents getting along with Jonah? Yes. Tell they are. They are. Yes, not, they are. Check it. Howard, really? they're moving in the neighborhood. They're, yeah. they're mov- they moved to Florida to, like, to get out of the cold weather and stuff like that for my mom. They're moving back. They're moving 10 minutes away from us. Now. And they like Joe now. They love him. We're like buddies, man. But they why have you two not, why have you not married Joe yet? Because, first of all, we moved two times. We're, we set a date for the next The earthquake summer. screwed us up the first time. We moved time to L.A., then we moved back to Jersey. You know what? Everything Then we moved again. Isn't that good? Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> including being caught in traffic and the freaking Holland freaking tunnel. Wait, wait, wait. Please, then, Joe, I want to... I saw it on Regis. You did the same joke. Go ahead. Now listen. This is real. Okay. This is real. Listen to me. This is the mag. I didn't do this. Let me see that. Muscle mag did that. Did you guys not see that? No. That was cool. That's in a hardcore magazine called Muscle Mag. And they put, and some guys, the guy's name, see, that's, no, that's the real stuff on the other side. Right. They, they did that as a joke in the They magazine. put my head on a muscle. No, and they uh, said, what the, what the, what's the name of the book? They, you, your book should be Joe, named. Joe, it's radio. No one can see what you're talking about. All right, Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly, those are not implants? No. Oh, my God. God, you're gorgeous. <laughs> what is that? A low-cut top. What is that? What are you wearing? Describe what you're wearing. Well, it's uh, Norma Kamali, Womo, gym outfit. Oh, a gym outfit? Yeah. Oh, my. Do you wear that to the gym? That's a workout outfit? Oh, my God. Oh, look at the chest on you. Look at the fingers and the lips. The lips get me. Oh, how? (laughs) Oh, the face. That is a face. So. Are you still modeling? So. Yes. How are you going to come to the And does Joe go to every modeling shoot with you? Jack, you want to go to the stand? Joe, please. We'll get to your plug. Get to my plug. Do you go to, does Joe go to every modeling shoot with you? No, actually, he doesn't. And do guys hit on you there? No, they, they're, they're cool. People are cool. They know. They're cool. I couldn't be cool. I'd hit on you. You're not wearing panties, are you? Oh, stop it, Howard. No, she's no, not. No, no, I have to no, stop. I have to stop. I have to stop. Stop what? She's, how can you wear panties with an outfit like that? Come on, we don't want to talk about that. Why not? Let's talk about, Man, maybe let's you talk, don't. Let's talk about... <laughs> what, the when we went, No, when we went to your house for dinner, people listen, and all the new listeners... No, 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 no. I don't want to talk about my house. So I want to ask you... I want to, I'm going to turn off your microphone <laughs> if you don't let me handle this. <laughs> no fair. No fair. Joe was on Saturday Night Live. Joe was on Saturday Night Live. 
<laughs> Don't use Yiddish words. <clears throat> is that okay to use that? Please. You were so that night. He, you go into his house. He's got the kids with with Alice. It yeah, was that's so called staying with your first wife, Joe. <laughs> Something you don't do. Okay. That's why he yeah. was fascinated. He needs to talk about. I could have a Kimberly also. Okay, pal. I got a guilty conscience. Right, I don't. I don't run off with the babysitter. Like, can you it? Yeah, yeah. You go, I like this guy going. Yeah, he's there with his wife and his kids. The same one for twenty years. Oh, and he never dumped her. It's amazing. Well, my wife is working out. Well, my wife is working out. Okay. She it was so that. wonderful. Right. Maybe and she's no Kimberly, but she's working out. Okay. So <laughs> All right, all right. Wonderful. I stick with her. And I know. And she I was know. there when I was nobody. And I know. I can have a Kimberly too. Don't think. Don't think I couldn't have a Kimberly in two minutes. Well, let's talk about. And let me tell you something. If I put my mind to it. I could get Kimberly. Let's talk about Joe. Joe was on Saturday. Do you think I could get Kimberly if I wanted to? I bet you I could. I don't know. I've never. Seen. She is uh, just. <laughs> she thinks Joe is the most incredible man on she earth. She hasn't I don't been know with if me. You can budge her. Do you know how nice I am? Do you know how nice I'm going to be to you? Do you know how I'm going to shower you with appreciation? <laughs> and Allison loves this. Right? Now, Joe, Poor yes. Alice. Yeah. what is... Oh, Allison, please. Oh. Just live in the lap of luxury. That, and it's wonderful over there. It's like a homebody situation. I, see, I expect to see lesbians dancing on the table. <laughs> no, 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 no. You were at it my was, like, house. so nice. It you was, saw like... a man with his wife of 20 years with three children, and you went into shock. <laughs> you were like, wait a second, when you get famous, you're supposed to dump them and marry somebody hot. Now, listen, let me tell you something. Yes, dear. So, Joe was like, mm, look at this guy. Chuck's with his young girlfriend. I'm with my young girlfriend. And this a-hole's with his regular wife. Wow, look at that. Oh, he, they were goofing on me the whole time. Oh, I know. We were not. Oh, I know what was going on. I know what was going on. I know, I know. That's all right. Listen, at least you got Joe back for me. You've dressed him like a, a balloon. That's good. <laughs> he looked like the Michelin man. Yeah, it's so funny. Joe that let you... The first thing I said was, oh, jeez, that looks like a ball. You have no idea. But two hours, then I, I was saying, Joe, you have to wear this. He goes, no, no, I look too fat. I'm like, no, trust me. Does Joe let you go anywhere alone? Does he let you go anywhere alone? Does he let you go to the gym? This, this weekend. This Where'd you go? Two of my best friends, they had a bachelorette party for one of my friends. Oh, and really? I stayed in New York for the weekend. And did you meet any guys? I met guys, but I didn't meet you them. You were not interested in that. No, not because Joe not. listens intently. Really? <laughs> he feels like so much. If I was you, I'd marry her. I don't know what, I don't know what you're doing. We are getting married next summer. <laughs> Why don't you just get married tomorrow? Because I in want to In Vegas, right? No, no. Or just, no oh, were you going to be the Sam? No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait a minute. What yeah, happened to married at the Sam's wedding. on Labor Day. It's you a great idea. But I want, I want to plan a but, really big... So plan it already. Formal, but yeah, it takes a right. lot of time. If you invite me, I'll ruin it. I'll yell stuff out there in the wedding. <laughs> you better not. Oh, yes, I <laughs> will. Not. Oh, invite me. I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> no, you were I'll be like, Joe, why don't you go with your first wife? <laughs> Where's she? <laughs> what are you, with a babysitter? <laughs> oh, man. <gasps> no. Son of a bitch, you made the right move. No. <laughs> you cut your losses and you went, No. man, you got balls. Can I invite you down to the stand? Oh, man, no wonder you never leave the house. <laughs> Joe's son now. Is this your first? No, thank you. Now, can 16? I tell you about Joey? By the way, he's 16. And he hangs out with Kimberly. Now, no. I heard on Regis, you got possession of Joey? Yeah. Wow. Can you believe this? Then we, well, of yeah, course. You've been, been through Figure it. it out. You're a 16-year-old man, and your your dad is living with he's, a he's living, breathing Kimberly's age goddess. goddess. Than, than Kimberly is to my age, you know that? So does he look at Kimberly? Oh. No, 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 no. This no, no. kid oh. is the oh. piece oh. of greatest. Oh, man. Oh. No, no. I used to change his diaper. Don't you get it? I used to change his diaper. It doesn't matter what you changed. He doesn't no, remember that. Do you run around in a bathing suit when Joey's around? No. You've never worn a bathing suit in front of little Joey? No, I mean, at the shore we do, but not around the house. <laughs> no, but I am careful. Do you catch him looking at Kim? No. Not at all. Oh, yeah. I got to say, no, is, no, no. is that wild? Though? I have full custody now with Joey. I, actually, not legal custody, thank you very much, but he's been with me. So your wife must be thrilled. I went. She put in 16 <laughs> years with the kid, and then the kid Why jumps up and comes to you. And come to you. <laughs> Much more fun. He didn't want to go down there. Yeah. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't want to go down in the first place, so now he's in school. I'm getting up. I get up 7 o'clock every morning. Does he have, to like, make lunches? Does he have I'm friends? Going to school meetings yeah. and everything? Does he bring his friends over to see Kimberly? Sure. Do, does his friends ever come over and see you? Yeah, yeah they, they kind of stay They're very. Cool. Oh. Who, who's the cool lady with the old guy? Yeah. Oh, man. I heard Joe's son is dating Kim's mom. Is that right? Yeah, right. That's why. Can I just say something to you? Do you know you take my breath away? You oh, take my Howard, breath away. Thing. Yeah, you take my breath away. Every time I see you, you take my breath away. Thank you. That's so I am, I am goddamn breathless. <laughs> oh, Somebody get me some language. Language. That's the language. If, hey, I was, if I was allowed to sleep with you just once, oh, I would go out of my no, mind. No, 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 please. Let's not, let's not get into that. <laughs> Why not? Because the people at the stands want to invite you down for the weekend. Dominic, I know you come down with Dominic. But now, let me, let me, let me tell you about it. Let me tell you You're about it. Let me do down. a little plug. Okay. Joe will be at the Sands. You come in. Not the Sands Hotel. He's actually now, working on the beach in Atlantic City on the Sands. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did Joe come out of retirement once a year now and do a show or what? What's going on? We're worried about your finances. <laughs> I don't see uh, really don't worry are you a multi-millionaire or something you, know, you get half your money to your original wife 
You didn't? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure I did. You didn't. How did you oh, manage that? What am I going to do on the air? Everybody listens on the air. They record the so show. How did you not the last time I talked to Howard about that on the air, I heard it in court. Away? I heard you, it in court. But how, it the court's over. How, how did you go? How did you get away with that? You know what? Uh, I, you know, I, I shouldn't talk about it. Who was your attorney? Who was my accountant, you mean? Oh, Robert really? Ah. Yeah, but how did they hide the assets? No, it, you know what? No. What, did you find buried treasure? Or what? <laughs> yeah, right. Look at me. What's breaking, breaking out on my brow? Why don't you write a book going, about this? Yeah. Why don't you yeah. write a book about this? Why are you wasting your time you in know, comedy? We you do. should be writing about... We, we are. Yes. We, some, how I wrote, to I get out whole, of that first marriage. I actually wrote a whole... It's not going to be as interesting as your book, Ryan. Anyway, right. Oh. But it's, it's I don't know. It sounds, it sounds like you got the makings of a great chapter. <laughs> really? Let us write it. I said, I said I'll, I'll write the whole thing, man. I said, uh, we wrote a whole... Didn't I write a whole treatment this year on that? Really? A treatment? Let me see that. It's like a 30... Pages. So you have your money. What are you a multimillionaire? You know what? You know what? How only what by the, do you do? Only by the grace of God do, well, do well, I have any money. Do we? Do he we? Formed, uh, um, whole... just, I tell you, if heaven is half this good, we're good shape. But yeah, what well, did you do? Tell us what he did. Yeah, tell us what you did. <laughs> Tim, been so busy. It's been incredible. What has he done? He's except have sex with you. Entire... Oh, he please. was writing I mean, a treatment. On. No wonder he doesn't leave the no. house. <laughs> he formed an entire production company. He did, and, the, and for Jer New Jer in New Jersey, so we don't have to be in California, so we can work out of New Jersey. And what will the company and be producing? Uh, we're doing film. We got a great. We got we a great film. Films. What yeah, is the film? We, we start in late fall called Frank and Daddy. It's it's about a. Uh, will Kimberly be in it? About a kid. No, not in this. Oh, one. you're making a mistake. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know, I know, though, I just I have a, movie. a production company know, doesn't make you any money, does it? <laughs> no, it costs you money. Yeah. Well, so we put in something. Are you in the mafia? We're, we're gonna uh, oh, no. What no, is no, the no, deal? We gotta that. figure no, 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 out what you're doing. Is that right? You mean you are in the mafia? <laughs> no. What do, you, what do you say? It? Now you say that because I'm Italian American. Yes, of course I say that. Then I'll get mad. Because, <laughs> no, come on. No, don't even think like that. Aren't all Italian Americans in the mafia? No. no. Oh, uh, listen. Sorry, I've got now, what that? if I? What, <laughs> You cannot. I have to come to the defense, and that you got to draw a line. Oh, absolutely. You can't, you can't start talking about that. Good evening. Call me a half Jew. Hey, I'm half Italian. You know, Are you half Italian? Of course I am. Right, That's you, why I could say it. I'm half, half in the mafia. You can make half the jokes. All right. Because I heard you were hanging with the boys. Oh, absolutely, I, I do. I, I have nothing against the mafia. No names mentioned. But no. I heard you were hanging. They have an orderliness that but I to admire. Answer your question. No. I mean, every every cent of my money is clean, and uh, you want to write a book called How to Beat the High Cost of Alimony. Yeah. I would buy it. I would buy it. How to live my life and be and be happy with a wonderful lady That's like this? Right. All right. So I let mean, me get this straight. Right. But listen. So so we because I don't. I mean, you go to you're going to the stands. Yes, but I don't see you out there on the road every day of the year. I mean, you you obviously can pick you? and choose what you do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we exactly. have fun. But also, I got an HBO show coming up. We wrote that this okay. year. So we always oh, HBO okay. special. I did two films this year. Check out this film. Does your wife have any money? Your ex-wife? I mean, does she eat at least one meal a day? Is that how you got the kids? She was starving. Guys, believe I have to. I am lucky, best. I have to respect her. I How know. did you do it? Listen, I will talk, talk to off, me. off mic, off camera. Where's the camera? Right, I got to kill the microphones now. I'm going to take a commercial break. Well, where's the I want to learn where's how you do that. Yes. I want to learn how you get the babysitter and all your money. It was just by chance, by luck. Do you know hypnotism? Just, uh, wow. That's it. Hypnotism. That's is. is that what hypnotism. it is? You no, took a hypnotist course. Well, you know, <laughs> the sands on Labor Day. Wow. <laughs> all right, now. Oh, the Copa Room. What will you be doing at the sands? Will you be doing all of your no, bits? No, actually, we're bringing it. We're doing a whole comedy cavalcade down there. I'm so excited. And you are invited to come down. Matter of fact, all you guys want to come down. It's a great. Louise Duarte will be with Can I share a room with Kimberly? Louise Duarte will be with Frankie Pace. You know Frankie Pace? Yeah, I know Frankie. Frankie is hysterical. He's not on New Year's Eve with two people in the danger field. Where? Frankie. Inside joke. All right. Go ahead. No, Frankie's great. Frankie's great. So we're going to go down to a whole comedy cavalcade. It's a whole show, and we're going to come down to the Sands. And you're invited to come down and play down there at the Sands. We're down with my friend Roger King. You're going to do any dick jokes? No, no, it's all clean. Oh, it's come on, man. Show. Really? You, you can bring oh, yes. kids if you want. You know why, you know why Joe has Frankie Pace? Because Joe looks really cute next to Frankie Pace. <laughs> he's just going for that sucky funny. I know. Funny. I know. It's like a Lewis Martin kind of thing. Yeah, he's funny. He is. He's like, he's like, he's wow, we, we got some bits together. We're Kimberly, that outfit together. is, is killing him. Kimberly's going to be on stage down the same too. Kimberly be down. Yeah. We're doing, Kimberly will be at the sand. We're doing a What bit. is she doing? We'll be on the surprise. Oh. What will you do? We'll be stripping? No. no. Oh, Howard. I'm there. Oh. Just take it all off so in front silly. of me. What a body. When she when you guys make love. Stop it. Is I it can't wild? Don't talk about that. We don't address those issues here on the airways. Please, he likes to I'm get embarrassed. Back to the mafia now. I hear about it. Go, Are you in the mafia? Go, hey, Joe. Uh, no, no, don't, no, don't, no, don't, no, don't, no, don't even start that because that's not that's funny. So because hard. you know what? This last year and a half, what I have done since I got back from LA, I've t tied myself in to a lot of non-profit uh, work. 
All I've right. worked so very hard, and I to tie myself in image. with a lot yeah. of the Italian American groups because the Italian Americans helped build this country as <laughs> the great, greatest yeah, people yeah, on this yeah, earth. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah, it's true, yeah. and they'll be down there no, in the land. Kimberly is the greatest person on this earth. Whatever she is, she's Irish. She's Irish. Come on. But I was. Do you look at your face? I mean, is it perfect? Is there a flaw? Can I look close to see find a flaw? What do you have a pimple? Let me see. Where? Look at this. Look at your nose. What's it like to look in the mirror and see a nose like that? I think it's a little too pointy. Wait, let me let me discuss this with you. You you think your nose is too pointy? I don't know, a little bit. Oh, you're insane. You are insane. It's so classic. I would tongue that nose. Stop it, stop it. Now, you see? I would you stick see? my tongue he up your nose. He goes with the... He goes... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I stick my tongue up your nose. You know, I used, to, I used to have a production company. The guys are going to listen now and say, you know... Joe. I'm just vocalizing what Regis is thinking. <laughs> so, <laughs> Howard, listen. So let me Who are you in plug, business with? The guys plug, are going to pull the money? Can with I, Regis. Can I plug some of the non-profit stuff you're doing? Sure. Come on. Let's do the non-profit stuff. Let's, can we talk about the non-profit oh, stuff okay, we're doing? Okay, bore us with a list of charities. Well... Please. Well, will you come down and help no, us out? No, no, I don't Where help are charity. Where you going to be with charity? We opened up a non-profit fitness facility at the Newark Boys and Girls Club, the North Ward, the Broadway. Should have given that money to your uh, first wife. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. We, we did, it was all non-profit. All, right. all the kids down there. It's great. We do a lot of work. There's a lot of great things happening in Newark, and uh, we, we work with the department. So you send other people services. down there? Yeah, no, it's great. We're down, we're down there a lot. Do you have sex with Kim during stop her time stop of month? Stop it! Stop it! Don't even talk about that. Does he have sex with you during the time of month? Oh, Howard, come on, don't take it down. We're having. Oh, Joe, come on. Nice also, you're invited not only to the Sands on Labor Day, to the Jimmy Valvano Classic. They said they asked us, hey, no, no, this is good. So you take cancer. Kimberly to Newark? Yes. She is the girl With all the black her. people. They love her. Stop it. And what are the black, when the black people see this blonde, <laughs> Leif Erickson descendant, <laughs> this girl is doing so much in the inner city. And Howard, you got to come down. Are you in the inner city? I, you I go to the inner city and, and you wear that? Gym. She helped build the gym. She helped build the gym. I want to hear this. But you know, the guys down there at the gym... Black guys? Yes. Yeah. And they must go wild for you. No. No, the, 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 the all kind. Everybody's down there. I mean, it, everybody's down there. Young, old, you know, teenagers. And you know what? They treat me with more respect than the guys do in L.A. Than the white guys? At the gym. Let yeah. me say something about black people. You. Let me say something no, beautiful about black people. What are you carrying really The black about? people treat Kimberly so good. In fact, I have a tape of when Kimberly visited Newark the really? last time. Here it is. This is all what right. all the guys are going no, wild. Watch no, this. No, no, no. This is great. Here it is. Play this tape, please. We don't have that tape? We don't have the tape. What a shame. We don't have that tape. I'm afraid. We don't have that tape. Thank you for the help. Thank you. Thank you. We don't have the tape. Howard, when she goes down, you have kids that are in drug rehab who are 15 years old that we, we see at the Integrity House down there. And they come in and they treat Kimberly with such respect, not they to do. mention me. They appreciate when you work with them and you stay with them. And we'd like to invite you come down because they I would can't believe Kimberly goes down to Newark. Like you yeah. can't believe, like a lot. Well, Can that's I beautiful that? that you're hands on. A lot of people give money or Thank they you. put their name Thank on you. things, oh, but they don't you. go out there and see, Robin that. That. people. We are there. I, I help. Hey, let me say something. I do tons of charity work. I just don't talk about oh, it. Sure. I don't need to brag about it. That's what I heard. I built gyms for black people. All right. I've done the same exact damn thing. I applaud you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need to get on the air and brag about it. Talk about some people I help. But the Valvano Classic is on the uh, August 26th, 27th. The Jimmy Valvano Classic. Who's he? It benefits, it benefits cancer Who research. Who is Jimmy Valvano? There. You know. Karen. <laughs> You're invited to go down. It, 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 you, play, you play golf? Everybody's playing golf. Of course I play golf. Oh, get out. Does he play golf? Really? Yeah, I'm handicapped. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, why? You play golf now? They you must have a lot of free time. I, I tell you, they drag me out there. So what is, it, what is the routine? So Do you have sex before so golf? Big. Do you have sex stop in the morning? It, stop it, stop it. No, stop. no, no, no. We don't. We is don't. Kim your caddy? Listen. No, we don't. Uh, don't. Listen, listen to me. The two of you make a stunning couple. Power. In fact, anybody Power. next to Kim Power. is a stunning couple. <laughs> you know what was funny? When I, told, when I talked about the thyroid thing last year, I had that cancer thing that we never addressed one-on-one -on -one together because I never talked about it. Yeah, I completely forgot about it. What did he say? So he said, oh, if you're going to die, you got mad because I talked to like entertainment tonight. And you said, oh, if yeah. you're going to die, call me first. <laughs> no, Joe, you know, I've had the guy on the show all right, through the years. years. I let him plug whatever he wants. I'm always a good friend. I'm a better pal than Eddie Murphy was. But he really has a story. I tune on my TV one time, and Joe, and Joe's on there. Um, I have cancer, and I'm dying, and I went, oh, dying. my God. I go, you know, Jesus Christ, I would have loved that. He calls up, he goes, Joe, if you're going to die, first of all, tell me, give me the exclusive. Number two, I want Kimberly. <laughs> oh, Kimberly, I'll take such good care of you. Don't you dare die anywhere else but on my show. Well, anyway, listen, Joe Piscopo will be at the Sands Hotel.
Will you come down? Absolutely. I'll fly to Vegas so, for that. We'll chopper you in. You want to chopper in? Where Atlantic are you getting money City. for choppers? No, no. This is the Sands. It's Atlantic it, it City. Sands, the Sands. It's the Atlantic City. Oh, Atlantic City. City. What is your net worth? It's Atlantic, Be honest Atlantic with me. City. Are you worth over $3 million? What is, what is, your, what is your net worth? $80 million. Dollars. What is yours? $80 million? Yeah, million? right, right. Really? Yes. Well, I'm not oh, Kimberly it. suddenly got love in her eyes. <laughs> That's right, Kimberly. You and it's all her. yours. We'll send, a, yeah. we'll, we'll send a helicopter. The Sands will be happy to do that for you, to bring you down. You and Dom are going to come down and play the weekend. They do you have to work down or you don't have to work ever again? No, you know what, Howard? It's I fun. do. Uh, it's it's just it's fun. fun. No, it's just, fun. You know what? This is, listen to you All guys. All he said is Robin, it's a lot of fun. I Robin. have a lot of fun. Yeah, well, if you were with Kimberly, you'd have fun. How do you afford to have listen, fun? Listen, no, why we did we worked all this year, man? I, I, I played, played a freaking hard. casino mm. in. Uh, I played an Indian casino in uh, Minnesota. It was great. How I, depressing I, was that? I checked my messages. They said, look at the smoke signals outside the window. Hey, I'll tell you. It's okay. Hey, that's yeah, offensive like to that. a Native American. I know, All right, I know, what are you working dirty now? I didn't do any jokes like that there. Is that okay? Kimberly, is your family rich? Because I'm going to kill myself no. if you're beautiful and rich. Oh, oh man. No, they're not Please, rich. No. I'm sorry. So now your parents like Joe because they hated him for so long. They didn't hate him. They just didn't <laughs> understand what, what was going on. None now of us did. <laughs> how, how, how do they understand it? We still don't. <laughs> Robin, be nice. Aww. And Joe, what do you work out every day? I'm no. a lucky girl. I, I, I got fat. I feel I feel so I should kill my my arms. I, feel, I don't want to touch like, your arm. Look. Really? Yeah, what happened you know what? to you? We because oh, we work this year. Great. We worked so hard. hard the last year. Take your shirt off. Let me see. No, take it off. No, take your shirt off. Not you, Kimberly. I want to see you with your shirt off. And I just I like I I'm gonna work out tomorrow. We're Philly and I gotta go rehearse on Thursday. I don't work out. So you gave up on the working out? It's tough. This working thing is killing. You know why? Because he was so into it, uh -huh. he went crazy That's with it, and exactly now he burned right. himself out. Burned exactly out. Right. You know what? Now he's Back, like, and you know what? You're probably happy. And listen to this. Listen, you will love this, because I know you would talk about it. I exercise because when they told me I had that tumor, they exercise because it'll stop the, the body fat, which causes tumors. Right. Then I read this year from the Cooper Clinic in Dallas, a very, very... So you need some fat study. in your body. No. If exercise can kill you. If you do extensive exercise, yeah. intensive exercise, it releases free radicals in your body. Let me and tell that you something. could And because Pete, this guy Cooper... Track people who work down intensively, they were dying of heart disease. Can I tell you cancer, something? You don't, can I tell you oh. something? I want to be honest with you. What? You don't have to worry about dying. When you're, when you're with, if I may say, a piece of ass like Kimberly. Oh, no, 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 no. She's a wonderful Let me tell you lady. something, man. A that keeps like you Kimberly? going. That would keep me young, and that would keep all cancer so out of my body. Joe is not going to die, right? Oh, no. You don't die when you've got that just, waiting at home. I just told the, the e-camera mm. guy out there, you, can, you go life, you go this way. I choose the life. You know, we're over. No one's going to care who we are. If they you're a lucky die. man, you're going to die in the saddle. Yeah, um, yeah. Right in the sack. Yeah. <laughs> is it right? Oh, what would you say? <laughs> right. You get a heart attack. <laughs> Rest his soul. I would never I like swear the to guy God. Until that I would have a heart attack. If, if Kimberly walked in the room, even half nude, Stop I would it. have a heart attack. Stop I'm gonna be burned. Oh, don't be such a prude, man. You act like you don't have sex. No, stop it. Like, oh, you're insane. Yeah, no. all right. All right. Joe Piscopo will be at the sand. Oh, Howard. What day? You know, he's, he's a wonderful September interview because all he does is moan the whole time. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. I'm in such pain. Oh, please. It's Atlantic City. It's not Vegas. Come down. Huh? Atlantic okay. City, I mean. I don't know why I keep saying Vegas. Atlantic City, the sand. Joe Piscopo. It's like a whole review, right? It's all comics and. Uh, you and everybody. It's a, a bad Are you going to sing my favorite song? The comedy cafe. Were you singing a song about Kimberly down there? Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's looking for it now. He's looking for it now. Oh, there's my favorite song. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you should have left him after this song. <laughs> Joe did this on Channel 9 here in New York. Uh, and I, 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 I was so embarrassed for you. I was embarrassed for myself. I was actually Listen to this. One of the great moments of television. I'll burn inside for you. <laughs> Just listen. I don't know what to do. How did you talk over there? Don't know what to say. What sounds good? Joe says it sounds good. Let's repeat. I need you. Kimberly. 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 Fred, help the song along. Yes. Kimberly. Kimberly. Now, will, you be doing, will you be doing this at the sand? Imagine it's a comedy show. Maybe I should do it. I do that. Let me hear this part. Oh, 
This is a great song. This is about her parents trying to keep them apart. Wow. They keep trying to keep us apart. It's like Romeo and Juliet. Oh, this is a big dramatic Fight. part. Cover me! Cover me! Cover me! Also, I thought I was Bruce Springsteen for a second. So I, I had it. You went off your rocker. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, Joe, listen. Residuals every time he's split. Joe remembers the word. He was singing right along. You know, <laughs> does he really? Yeah. He does sing that? Yeah. Robin, let me tell you. Let me, let me hear you do that live. That show. Sing that it to Kimberly really? right now. They, uh, Please. Kimberly! <laughs> Kimberly! <laughs> Kimberly! Kimberly! And she digs it. Said she was forces working here, girls are trying to pull us apart. Apart? But it's true, my love for you is clearing through it straight from my heart. Whoa! Whoa! Why don't they just let us be? Fred, give it to me. Yeah, do an impression of Fiskabo doing Kimberly. Whoa! Let us be yellow. Howard, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're absolutely right. That's why, that's why I get so mad and upset about Howard. He knows me better than anybody. Well, listen, listen, I did. I lost it. I lost it. When I freaked out, I don't care nine, what I got anyone the family says. there, and I'm on national television making a fool of myself. It's fun. Yeah. I don't care what they say. You got Kimberly. That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. And Kimberly, God bless you. You look more beautiful than ever. Thank you. Ed. And Joe, good luck at the Sands in Atlantic City. Be down there. All right. Let when is this? One day. It's September first through third. So it's the Labor right. Day weekend. I will be you down. Get away. Bring Don. Bring Dominic. Bring Allison down, and bring the kids. Whatever you want. Kimberly, you're 20 years old yet? Whatever I'm you want. Oh, you're 26? I'm Jackie, old lady. I didn't realize that. You come yeah. down. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm going to be out of town already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to be out of town already. Yeah, Joe, I'll be there. Yeah, uh, sure. uh, well, Howard will be there. And Kimberly will be on stage. Is it, where's the E okay. camera? Is this the E camera there? Yeah. It looks like a freaking uh, MRI. What is that? <laughs> Hi. How are you? Is that that's the either? And that's right, the either I got it. Listen. He's got yeah, her, and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all right, I'm going to take a break. Mm -hmm. Joe, thank you. Kimberly, thank you. I'm going to do we the We never news. did get to the bottom of his finances. He won't tell anybody. One all right. day. You know what? One Thanks day for taking we the will. time and letting us promote that today. I really well, it would have been nice that. if you were on time. You know, we I apologize for that. this morning. Well, Excuse so me, you say. For two hours. Well, I don't I care. I wouldn't lie to you, Howard. The only reason you're in here is because of you. Right. <laughs> to keep my eyes off you. All right. Thanks. And, uh, hey, by the way, in Atlantic City, say hi to my friends Nikki, Tony, and Mikey. All right. And Sal and Angelo and Lefty and Rocky. And And Dominic. Right. All right, we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Joe Piscopo. Oh, I wish Eddie Murphy would call me, Godfather. I could make it so Eddie Murphy will call you. But for this favor, you will owe me. I owe you. Eddie Murphy will. Uh, Eddie Murphy will will call you any day now. Because I will bust that schwarzer up if he does not pay attention to you. Do you understand me, my son? Do you understand me, my son? It Stop must it. be the Jewish mafia. We're talking about. <laughs> Kimberly, you want to play my wife in the movie? I'm in Raw, then, you guys. Want to be in a movie? A real movie? You're very funny. Right. Very funny, Howard. We'll talk about it. Very funny. <laughs> Joe, I could make it so You're that Eddie funny. Murphy will return your call. You're very funny. <laughs> Does Kimberly want to act? No. No? I, I just oh, enjoy doing no. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you what happened this year, which is interesting? Want to take the food out of your mouth when you talk? <laughs> <laughs> well, you really have gone off your diet. <laughs> I got sugar. Let me I tell you sugar. something. Eddie Murphy did not treat you right. Oh, man. Do you hear what I'm saying, Joe? <laughs> you were his best friend and he did not treat you right. No, look, look, look. I'm going to take Eddie. I'm going to boil him in sauce. Because <laughs> he does not talk to you. You just give me You're the word. Italian. Who's Italian? Your father? No, my mother. Is that right? Let me tell you something. All right. Listen That's to true. me, you sausage. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> you mama Luke. Yeah. You mama Luke. You mama Luke. Listen to me. All right, what do you want? Talk to me. You will have to play Atlantic City. Three times a year. <laughs> that is all I ask of you. All right, all right. And I will take care How of your relationship you with Eddie Murphy. How could you ask me a question like that? How could no you movies are going to make fun of my Joey. Oh, this is my godson. You understand me? You're my godson. The movies run the country now, but not in the Cosa Nostra. Here you have power because you're an Italian boy. Your mother was Italian, your father was Italian. Are you Sicilian? You're not? Not play it down. Come on. I will take care of it. Look, look, Joseph said. Joseph said. I'm proud. Not about the Mooley line, just as they're making the Italian. So anyway. The Mooleys, the Mooleys cannot treat an Italian like this. You understand me, Kimberly? <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. People are listening. 
laughing enough. It's not funny. We're not. We're not amused. Well, I am. You know. You're a white right man. There's no reason why Eddie Murphy should not return your call. Do you understand me? I don't know show business. I've never been. My retarded brother Fredo has dabbled in show business. Let me tell you Fredo. something. Fredo. Kim, go out back and shoot Fredo. <laughs> I am telling you, my son, as a true Piscopal, you have rights in this country. If you make a phone call, a white man, to Eddie Murphy, you should have that <laughs> phone call return. <laughs> this is not too much to ask. No respect. <laughs> I love it, Eddie Murphy. Sandino, go get Murphy hooked on heroin. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna flood the Schwarza communities with heroin. Oh, you can't boy. say that. Neither. You can't. No. Listen, we're not on the air. It's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> you can't say that. Tomorrow there will be a horse's head in the bed of the nutty professor. <laughs> Does he do this with Al D'Amato too? He do yes, I do this with go my goomba Al D'Amato. Hey, D'Amato looks great in that way. We're hearing. I got to tell you something. And Michael terrific. Chertoff down there. Yeah. Terrific. Very, very terrific very man. Very and let me tell you, Joe, Joe I'm kidding. I know you're not. No one thinks you're in the mafia. Would you stop that? Oh, you're so silly. Well, now I figured out because what Joe's you know, doing. He's sitting guys, at home watching the hearing. Guys, oh. <laughs> yeah. A lot of guys are so working so hard. A lot of people work to of put, course. put that that image of course. aside. Oh, that image oh, is aside. Oh, oh, you're insane. <laughs> Joe, you know I love you, and I love Kimberly more. Kimberly, you don't have to be sensitive about anything. You can have another man. Come on down this week. We'll have fun. We'll party on, on Sunday night. Well, Sunday, is that good? Listen. Because I could chill out a little bit. We'll party, I'll get, and you'll see how fat I really am. I will come see, I'm going to come see you, and let me tell you another thing. Yes. You're a good man. I like what you're doing with charity. I like it. Thanks, Just because you don't work and live well, I don't suspect that you're... Related to any mob figure. All right, very good. Okay. Listen to me. No, no, listen to me. Production company. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry for being late, man. I'm so sorry. It's Will you talk to Pataki I'm about a... opening the toll? Yes. Can we, the port Pataki authority... is working on that right you now. You are so great. When, he, when I saw him with Pataki, George, Thank you. George Marlin, the head of the port authority, great guy. Now, Pataki and Governor Whitman were terrific politicians. Thank you. And Rudy Giuliani, you can't find a better mayor than Rudy. He's a Thank terrific you. guy. People Open the tolls in the drive time. Let the people through. We would have been we here on time. We were stuck an hour, an hour outside of the Lincoln Center. I'm yeah. whining now and I'm complaining. All right, Joe, listen. Okay. You go relax. Thanks. I'll see you. I'll see you later, Dave. I'll go have sex with Kimberly in the chocolate. And we'll be back after these words.